All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, fellow cyber traders, on this uh, beautiful Tuesday afternoon. It is Fausto. Josh has uh, had to take a quick little run out, so he'll be back tomorrow morning. So we'll give him, give him some time off. In the meantime, a uh, quick little shout out for everybody. Uh, we got Robert from Texas, just uh, just signed up to be one of our new students, new family members to the team. Give them all a round of applause. Welcome back. There you go, Robert. All right. So anyway, guys, um, it's been a hell of a... Let me tell you, the streak has been going. Friday, Monday, and today. I mean, today was like taking candy from a little kid. Um, I mean, it was just great. I mean, unfortunately, I was out yesterday. Uh, wish I, I missed some of those full 500% movers, but it looks like we capitalized on a bunch of them. You know, I'm not a really big fan talking about expensive stocks, but you got to admit... This Roku was pretty damn easy. I mean, this thing, I mean, out of everything that we traded, this thing has not stopped. I mean, this thing is just an animal. It just keeps going up and up and up. Had a little nasty shake over here. But, um, I mean, if you got in when it started right around 124, even if you bought 100 shares, forget about 1,000. If you bought 100 shares, that's a $12,000 investment. If you had it till now, you made $700, Okay. So, you know, the other thing is you don't have to trade that many shares to it. Now, I'm, I still like the stock. The stock's really strong. I mean, obviously, we all know the news. They signed a big deal with Apple, um, with the Apple TV. Is that what it was? And uh, did pretty well. Earned about $4 on it. Jerry, see that? There we go, Jerry. Way to go. Give him a round of applause. All right, so there were a couple other ones, too, that we're going to put on our watch list. So we had this Roku that moved pretty nice. Uh, DSS. I mean, this is like... Are you kidding me? When's the last time you guys saw a stock go from a dollar um, all the way up to about seven bucks, up about almost six hundred percent? Okay, so this thing had a little nasty shocks right uh, shakes right here. It is filling up a gap right here. Another big big winner, but you had to get in around. You know, it got halted so many times right around here, but then it finally made its big pop right around here and when it was going higher. Um, but it just got get halted. It kept going. It got halted. Kept going. So uh, that stock was another big winner. I don't know if I'm really a fan of going into this afternoon. I actually kind of like the Roku a little bit better. But for all of you that did miss it, that's what was that was out there. And we have another one. So the RLMD, I mean, we had a nice little push at the open, and then she started backing off. So, you know, that one is pretty much over with. WWR, another big uh, little mover right there. A two minute chart so that one was great in the pre-market and then right after that she backed off right around you know from that nine dollars down to five this is why you can't go you know you can't go broke taking profits so that one was pretty good but that one's pretty much done for the afternoon so that was a nice winner a b e o is another one now this one i still like it going into the afternoon only for the purpose of that's trading at the highs of the day stock was a 22 dollars stock took a big hit at the end of the year you know a nice little uptrend a little cheap for everyone. Uh, one stock that was really, really ticked off, and I couldn't get the short off. I called this earlier, but this SCS, it wasn't on my short list, unfortunately. But uh, we all did really well from the day before when the thing went from, you know, $5 to 30 This obviously was a short squeeze. Anyway, I don't know if she's left on your, if you can get on your short list, but she still looks like a pretty good short. Uh, the STST is another one I want to keep an eye on going into the afternoon. Out the wrong ETST. A little bit on a cheap side. Nice little stock. Not bad. You know, um, stock took a little bit of a hit. You can see it went from 10 all the way down to a buck 30. Uh, and it's it's trading at the highs, you know, up 29%. You, you know, and if you're an advanced trade, you could trade a lot of shares of this. So you could see you got 14,000, 15,000, a lot of big shares right here, 30,000, a lot of them. So um, definitely a lot there to move on that. But listen, overall, it was a pretty fun morning. You know, we did pretty well. I mean, very rarely do you get, you know, three great days in a row. And it's just, you know, unfortunately, like last week, remember I told you about the Jewish holiday? You know, and I said, listen, I hate holidays because, you know, people are away and all this. And it wasn't really a good week, right? When Right around the when we had all those holidays. Now, look at it. We're... Only holidays coming up, but we're not off. It's just Halloween on Thursday. 
But now we're in full strength, and look what's happening. Boom, 500% winner, 200%, every over and over and over again. So it's been quite exciting, and I kind of expected that. So listen, it's just patience, and whatever you miss, you know, go from there. Uh, there's always new ones that pop up from nowhere. All right, anything I'm missing? No fear in the markets. That's right, Jerry. Any other stocks that were missing that I did not call out? Anything else? Nope. All right. So we got our watch list right there. You guys know what you got to, you know, you, you, we, you know what you, what you need to do because we cover it in class all the time. Just um, big thing you just got to remember. And, you know, I want to bring up any names, uh, but I just spoke to, I spoke to uh, somebody that wants to be a student and just one thing, and, you know, he's, he's got, he's got to do a couple of things and take care of a couple of things first. But uh, one thing I hear a lot about is that, and, and when I was at Trade for a Cause, you know, everybody's there in, and was talking about, like, how much money they make. And, you know, this is how I became a six-figure trader to a seven-figure trader and this and that. And I want to get to the next level. And I'm like, and I, I'll be honest with you, I was like, you know what? That doesn't help everybody that's in the audience. You know what helps you guys? How to control losses. That is basically what you need to learn. It's not about the winners. It's the losers. And remember, one of the big things I always find out why people lose, they don't do their journals. I don't know why, why it is other than you're not a student. That's the reason why. Oh, yeah, someone told me about the journals and that. Okay, great. Send me your journals. Let us review it. That's, that's what we train you for. That's what you're paying for. And when we ask for it, we want to see it. And let me tell you, you'd be shocked when you start doing those little things. It's like following the recipe. When you start going off on doing your own thing, that's where things get to go messed up. You gotta follow the recipe. All right, guys. So there's your watch list. Great day so far. We got about another hour and ten minutes to go. So let's see how we can do going to this afternoon. All right. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.